Wes is an absolute, you know, dogged taskmaster. He, you know, he wants your everything, but he is also so gentle and generous in pulling it out of you. And so when he came to me with the script for the French Dispatch, he said, I've seen everything you've done in the theater. I, I think... I don't think that I think I wrote this for you because I don't think there's anyone else who could play this role. I don't know if that's necessarily true, but it was certainly flattering. And uh, and our working our relationship is, um, you know, began there. I get him. I get his language. I get his tone. I love playing his language. Wes doesn't place a comma, you know, a, you know, in, you know, by accident. It's there's so much information to get from the way he uh, he crafts a sentence, and I love that stuff. Funny story or interesting story about working with him. Well, I'll tell you this about him. This is what I, I I've I've come to realize about him. Adrian Brody's character in Asteroid City, the director, seems to become himself or find himself more so on the set than he does anywhere else. I think there's something autobiographical about that with Wes, because Wes can be somewhat reserved, somewhat cautious, slightly socially hesitant at times. He gets on set, he's still sensitive, but there's a clarity and a purpose about him. There's a transformation between the two that is just so remarkable. He becomes this he, he takes on this sense of this kind of general-like quality uh, in his own way that's just so wonderful. And he, bec he becomes fully alive. It's so cool. 